All right, three, two, one, uh, boom. This is huge. This is a huge, huge day <laughs> at Boom U. We're live from Victoria's, by the way, which is a great little spot right here on Boom U, and that's why we're opening up with this shot. And all we're going to do is literally grab the newspaper, today's newspaper, and see what's going on. And I only wish I would have discussed equal energy long ago because it appears that some deal was announced Monday for some company out of Tulsa to buy all outstanding shares of equal energy for $5.43 each, which is a hell of a lot more, I bet you, than it was trading for before the deal was announced. I haven't even looked it up. But it's a bummer I missed this thing. It wouldn't be the first time I missed an opportunity, GMX. But nonetheless, uh, as a lovely experiment in this world, we're going to call this Dispatch 36, I think. And this is from Victoria's Quick Shot of the Kitchen. Boom, that's all we'll show there in agreement with management until further uh, comfort levels are made, and we understand that. We're only a minute into the show, and all I really wanted to do was say, welcome to Boom U, welcome to an authentic spot at Boom U. This is called Victoria's, and we're going to grab the newspaper, and we're just going to see what's in it, and it's going to be called Royal Patch Jazz because it's total improv because we don't know what we're really reading until we see it. So sure enough, I grab the newspaper, and I get hit with this huge headline. Equal shareholder question sale plans. So we'll try and figure that out if we can. But what you're getting in the background now is a great uh, feel of what I call the uh, bubble and buzz of Boom U. And these are all the people piling in and out of Victoria's. It's a very popular spot here at Boom U. And this is the, the bubble and buzz of Boom U. But let's get back into the real bubble and buzz of Boom U, which is the money that's bubbling out of the ground. This is unbelievable. I, I almost hate to even read this, but we will. Uh, because it's because uh, I it makes me so obviously incredibly uh, clueless and caught off guard in a way, but in another way not. So um, we're gonna read. We're, you know what? We're gonna read this thing. Um, one of Equal Energy Limited's largest shareholders isn't sold on the proposed deal to sell the company. California-based Lawndale Capital Management contends Equal shareholders may not receive adequate compensation from the proposed two hundred and thirty million dollar deal. PetroFlow Energy Corp. has offered to buy all outstanding shares of Equal for $5.43 each. The deal was approved unanimously by Equal's board, but two-thirds of the company's shareholders still must sign off on it. Okay, I'm tired of reading because uh, I, I just got to cut to the chase and let you know. Equal was a company a lot like Osage. We've talked about Osage. Equal's another company just like that, a little small micro driller in Oklahoma. Um, and they, I think, were a Canadian or Australian, maybe. I think they were maybe an Australian company. But uh, there's going to be a few more of these companies like Equal that are here in Oklahoma that are uh, A, in Oklahoma, and B, they're publicly traded. So C, there still may be an opportunity to, to uh, crack some pretty good gains. Um, but that's, that's, that's the story behind Equal Energy. Uh, look them up. Uh, read the last week. Obviously, you know more than I know because I haven't even read the last week. Um, but I can tell you this. Equal stock remained unchanged Tuesday at $5.37 a share. Now. I don't know what it was a week ago. I, I almost hate to look because I have a feeling it, it shot up pretty good. Um, now let's do a quick zip over. By the way, that lighting is beautiful. I'm going to pull back and let you see this lighting in here. Um, and one more shot of the food, which I haven't touched yet, but I will. I just got too excited about Equal Energy. Remember, kids, it's now at $5.37 a share. Let's look and see what it was a couple weeks ago. And now we've got another piece here on Lynn Energy, which is going to be a pretty important company to follow in Oklahoma. If we can keep up with them, they uh, from the well flow rates I've seen in the uh, Oklahoma, which we're getting ready to go to, which is the real reason I, I did this episode. By the way, episode uh, 30, no, Dispatch in the Patch uh, 36, uh, Transparent Barrel, first ever live episode. Check it out. Boom, Victoria's first ever live episode. This is huge, folks. And this is groundbreaking. And we're hoping to stretch it to 10 minutes. And there's Lynn Energy, and uh, we'll read about them. Um, and uh, once again, this special episode of, the, of uh, Energy Boom 101, not live from the Transparent Barrel Studios, but live from Victoria's, is, uh, is it's not so much a special episode, but it is definitely an episode we call Oil Patch Jazz, which means it's total improv, which means you just have to grab the local newspaper that you haven't seen in a while and just open it up and see what you find. And of course, the first thing we find is a huge story in equal energy which we haven't done any more research to find out if it really is huge but I have a funny feeling it probably is based on the most likely the share price appreciation that said the, the real reason we love to do oil patch jazz is to is to now show you this which is the great um, this is the or oh, the, these are the logs thank you very much by the way uh, these are the logs from the Oklahoma that will show all the different energy companies 
and exactly uh, the success they are having. And it's a lot of fun because what you do is you basically identify three things. You identify the uh, output, the production, which is either going to be barrels of oil or it's going to be natural gas. A lot of times it's both. And you identify a where it is, and you identify the depth, and you try and do a, a rough estimate of cost, and then you try and do a rough estimate of uh, payoff. But uh, we don't get that deep because we're just zipping and zapping and moving through this thing. Um, there are some incredible folks coming and going, by the way. This is this is authentic, by the way. Let me just say this. This is authentic bubble and buzz of Boom U, which we're going to trademark right here and right now. This is the oral trademark that I hope Rupert Murdoch challenges. By the way, this is the Daily Oklahoma we're looking at, and it's from Wednesday, December 11th, which is today. Now, let's hit you hard with some oil patch jazz while we get this great camera angle going. Okay, first thing, completions, alfalfa. This, these oil logs are done in alphabetical order. And the, of course, the first one is alfalfa. Great name, by the way. Get it, we're going fast here. Mid-States Petroleum, 227 barrels a day, 2 million cubic feet of gas a day, 11,000 feet. That's most likely the, the uh, Mississippi Lime and or, no, it's either the Mississippi Lime or the Woodford Shell, but probably the Mississippi Lime. And 227 barrels a day and 2 million cubic feet of gas a day ain't nothing to sneeze at. Uh, Mid-States, again, now notice the, um, not the discrepancy, but notice, notice the variance. Same county, Mid-States Petroleum, same company, almost the same depth. Um, it's only 61 barrels of oil a day and 278,000 cubic feet of gas a day. So strong variance within Alfalfa County. Uh, this is like a weather report. Strong variance within Alfalfa County between uh, flow rates. Now let's go to Canadian County. Devon, there's our boys up up north here. Devon, we love them. We still think they're the greatest investment in town for the next 10 years. Uh, 2.6 million cubic feet of gas a day, 49 barrels of oil a day. Total depth, 17,000. That's the Woodford Shale, I'm pretty sure. And you don't expect a whole lot of oil yet, but that'll increase, trust me. Carter, Butkin Oil, total depth, 1,224 feet, nothing. I love them already. Cimarron County, Weinkauf Petroleum, great name, probably German, and you don't see Cimarron too often. They're, they're a rare one, and there's a reason for that, because they're only recovering 12 barrels a day, but they only went to 5,300 feet, so that may be okay. Um, Lincoln County, Williams Clayton Energy. Now, this guy's a legend. He's a legendary driller out of Texas. Check him out. Williams Clayton Energy, he definitely belongs in a, a shout-out to the Hall of Famers. Now, he's going to get one barrel a day, but that'll change. He's in Lincoln County. He got one barrel a day, and he got it at 4,500 feet, but that'll change. He'll get better. Oh, shit. Logan County, Devon Energy, 15 barrels a day. Uh, so that's not a whole lot, but trust me, all that'll in increase. We're very early in this game, second or third inning at most. In, in Oklahoma, I'd say first inning. Marshall County, XTO. Now, remember, XTO is Exxon's little uh, baby that they bought years ago out of Texas. XTO Energy was their huge play on natural gas. And guess, guess what? They're drilling um, in Marshall County. I don't know where that is, but we'll find it because you don't hear about that too often. And both of their wells are going down to about 20,000 feet. And right now, they're just popping gas, and it's not a lot of it. There's no oil. They're just popping gas. 1.6, 1.5 million. But they also may be making plenty of money off that. I don't know. Someone call XTO Energy. Payne County, Xanadu Exploration, great name, great movie, and that is two barrels a day. Rogers County, now look at this, There's here's a hat trick, here's a natural hat trick. Same same company drills three wells, one county, that's a, that's a hat trick. So here's Rogers County, has CEP Mid-Continent, and these are shallow, look at this, they only go down to 1,300 feet here, and they're getting 12 barrels a day, 12 barrels a day. 12 barrels a day consistently, so that they, they may have really good economics on that. Once again, someone called CEP Energy. We don't have time to do it. Stevens County, jumping up here, Budkin Oil, one barrel a day. Now, usually in Stevens County, you see a lot more than that, so that should number should go up, and the Butkin Oil is a pretty good name. Woods County, that's still Mississippi Line. We got Mid-States, 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 Mid-States. We got four coming at you, four coming at you. Get ready for the numbers. There's variance, but it's not incredible, but it's strong. 93 barrels of oil a day, 203 barrels of oil a day, 151 barrels of oil a day, 88 barrels of oil a day. You're hearing me say that I'm, I'm announcing the oil uh, first because that's where more of the money lies in these wells than in the gas, although that'll all flesh out later on. But right now, Mid-States in the oil logs has drilled four wells in Woods County anywhere from... 88 barrels a day, all the way up to 203 barrels a day. By the way, some serious bubbling and buzz at Boom U is coming in. Boom! And uh, you're going to be, once again, we're going to trademark that slogan, the, 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 the bubble and buzz at Boom U. Not like anyone's ever going to want to use it. But I think we feel like this has been a pretty successful um, special episode. Special, we'll call it a special dispatch. A special dispatch from the patch 
first time ever, historic for um, Energy Boom 101, live from Victoria's. Folks, if you're ever uh, visiting Boom U, please come to Victoria's. This is authentic OU. As a matter of fact, it may still be owned by a gentleman whose brother and I were in college and in the fraternity together, Joel Roth. I think it probably is. If he's out there, shout out. Tonkawa boy. Oil patch boy. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, there was a lot of good stuff today in the, uh, in the oil logs, a lot of fun. And then this equal energy thing, this is great. What we'll do is we'll go back and do some research and then do a follow-up on this because there may be big money involved, and that would be fun. All right, that's it. Three, two, one, boom.